like cargo or caterings off the aircraft let's go ahead and call the fuel truck in and let's get a fueler going we're gonna request refueling well, our fueling truck is coming in and before we do that we'll write down some of our uh, fluid in didn't write our arrival we got 3190 on the arrival there and 3230 on uh, tank 2 so that puts us it's 12, 2, 3, 4, 64, 20 on the arrival fuel. There we go. Um, I do want to show you somebody, one, one, some person asked, they said, well, how could I get this thing that you're doing? This thing, I was coming up on the screen right now. He says, how can we get this? This is actually a a coastal airways uh, our own this is our own thing that we do here on the airline uh, the fuelers coming in and they're gonna fuel us up we should have 7.7 .7 when it's all done and uh, we'll go ahead and get the, the bags loaded and everything else so what we'll do is we'll take a look we've got about 117 passengers on this aircraft right now well, coming on the airplane. They're not. We're not boarding for quite a while. Uh, zero fuel weight. I've got my paperwork. Says one 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 point one. So one eleven decimal one. We'll throw that in here. Zero fuel weight set. Reserves. Uh, I've got five point seven on arrival fuel. It's a little on the low side for us. I uh, kind of don't like that. But uh, hopefully we burn a little less. Than that, we're going to go 5,000 on reserves. Cost index is going to be 20. We probably have a pretty strong headwind. We're planning on fuel here with 15,400 by the time we take off. We're talking 15,2, maybe 15 even. So we'll just go 15,000 even. We cannot go below 14.8. That's our, our minimum fuel when we depart. When we climb 380 on the cruise altitude here, and our cruise wind is pushing 253 at 118. 253 slant 118. Dump that in there. We're going to clear this message. Unable 270, 280 knots, we know. Outside air temperature is going to be minus 56, so a little warmer than standard. And actually, it's good. It's the same. So it's pretty much at ISA. Maybe it's ISA plus one. N1 limit. We're going to hold this right now and then let's jump into the VTP and uh, we'll have a go at that. It is a 700 aircraft today. We're going from Providence, Rhode Island. Runway is going to be 23. Conditions dry. They did have a FICON earlier, so let's just check the FICON. We're going to go to information, note them. And we'll check it out. What do we got? Uh, apron, transition, FICON, three feet of snow. Cat 5, we talked about that already. We had some ice on the railway earlier where we flew in. Excuse me. Uh, I'm just watching to see if there's anything that pops out saying, oh, there's ice on, you know, 50% of the runway or anything like that. It doesn't look like that. It's just, we've got a FICON four feet of snow piles observed. Um, so three and four feet of snow. It looks like nothing on the runway. So we're going to call that dry. Winds are two, four, zero, slash three. So it's calm. We're doing negative... Two degrees, I thought we said. It's pretty darn cold over there. Yeah, minus two. Altimeter is coming in at uh, three zero one niner. Okay. Yeah, I know. Three zero one niner. Optimal on the flaps. We're gonna go auto on the air air conditioning. Anti ice is off. We don't need that. And then improved climb. We're not gonna do that. Uh, everything else is set here. I do need to plug in our takeoff weight and our takeoff weight estimating right now. 125.9 was a pretty light in terms of the packs load. We got a lower packs load than usual. 
There we go. We'll go ahead and click calculate. Ah, you piece. You piece. There we go. Uh, we'll click calculate. It comes out. All right, there we go. We have um, flap one today. We got flap one with... Uh, It looks like flat protraction altitude, 10,000 uh, feet. It's going to be uh, 2 3 full. Cell temp 61. It's perfect. And uh, trim 6 and a quarter. It looks like 31, 31, 35 on the numbers. So let's go ahead and record that. Into we walk down, take a look at our pitot tube and our AOA indicator, as well as the tap probe. That looks good. Nose gears looking good. Obviously, we're in a 700. We've got uh, pedo tubes on that side with our alpha vein on that side. That looks good. Again, checking the gear, make sure it's good to go. We'll walk over the uh, the uh, power. We got already loaded bags. That's interesting. <laughs> you wouldn't have loaded bags right now, but that's okay. We'll got to get the fuel truck out of here. Engine looks good. Fan, fan blades looking good. Intact spinners looking good as well. We do have a fuel hookup, so I wonder if we can see it. No, it would be cool if that was simulated, but it's not. Leading edge looks great on the wing. Nice, uh, rough looking weather here in Providence. When we landed earlier today, it was beautiful. Turned to garbage. Who kept the strobe lights on? Well, at least they work, right? That's our bonehead flight attendant not uh, doing their flows correctly. I mean, flight attendant. Um, first officer, I should say. Really, that's me. It was a bonehead move. All right, tires looking good. Brakes are looking good. And you'd kind of take a peek in your wheel well here on the 7.3. Let's kind of see what's going on. Great. Okay, aft. Aft door looks fine. It's all right. Kind of lost the uh, tracker there. Pedo tube on that side on the vertical fin looks good. Horizontal stab looks good as well. Elevators looking good. Trim tabs are good. The inlet and the AA exhaust on the APU look great. Nothing's clogged there. Okay, coming in looking at the uh, trim. Trim's in between those white tabs. So that's good. Finally, that door is closed up. Oh, honey wagon's here. We got to get rid of that, too. Excuse me, buddy. Okay, that's good. That's good. We're all set there. Take a peek. Looks good on the wheel well. Okay, flat fairings looking good straight across the board here. Uh, winglet looks good. We didn't strike it around the ground. So that's always a plus, right? It was a pretty firm landing when we landed here. It was pretty, pretty aggressive. I think we touched down like 280 feet, but... I put the sucker right on the marks, which that's what I was going for. All right. Fan blades looking good. Again, spinner's good. Inlets on the uh, pack. Make sure that's not taped. That's our static port. So you want to make sure they're good. No clear tape on them. All right. That's, we're back in the flight deck. Um, I'm going to do a flow really quick. Again, it's still, still pretty darn early here. We're looking at 13 minutes. So I'm going to stop. I'll be with you here in a minute. Thank you. For an on-time departure, we encourage you to take your seat as Go ahead. as possible. Please fasten your seat belt, ensuring they are low and tight across your lap, and fasten them snugly throughout the duration of the flight. As a friendly reminder, all electronic devices should now be set to airplane mode or switched off for the duration of the flight. Please okay, thanks. The Roger. to familiarize yourself with the safety information card located in the seat pocket in front of you. If you have any questions or require assistance at any time during the flight, please don't hesitate to reach out to one of our attentive flight attendants. We are here to ensure your journey with Coastal Airways is safe, 
comfortable, and enjoyable. Once again, we thank you for choosing Coastal Airways for your travel needs. We are delighted to have you on board and look forward to providing you with a pleasant flight experience. Sit back, relax, and enjoy your flight with Coastal Airways. Okay, good afternoon from the cockpit. This is your captain speaking. I'd like to welcome you on board this afternoon as we fly to Detroit. Our cruise altitude this morning will be 38,000 feet with a uh, flight time of around 2 hours and 15 minutes. Our cruise altitude this morning will be 38,000 feet with a flight time of around 2 hours and 15 minutes. We're not anticipating any delays, so we hope to be underway very shortly. Once we push back from the gate, the cabin crew will start securing the cabin as we head to the departure runway. Please make sure you're seated and secured as they make their way around the aircraft. The weather here in Providence is looking pretty good. We expect to be a nice, comfortable climb up to our cruise level. Might be a little bit bumpy on the climb. Once we're airborne, there shouldn't be any issues during our climb. It's pretty straightforward departure out of here. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about there. And once we're airborne, there shouldn't be any issues. There we go. Roger. All right, folks. So I just uh, gave our passengers, obviously, a briefing. Um, I had to read a stupid script, which I don't like. Normally, I would say... And I'll just do mine right now. Folks from the flight deck, welcome aboard Flight 12 non-stop service over to Detroit should have you on the gate here off the gate here in a little bit um, we do expect to be de-icing today so we're going to get some uh, de-icing equipment over here just to spray the aircraft down that might be a slight delay out of here um, once we're airborne folks it looks like an hour and 52 minutes over to Detroit Detroit weather right now 14 degrees that's a negative 14 degrees Celsius that's 70 degrees 7 degrees Fahrenheit overcast clouds we should be bumpy on the climb out once we get through in uh, this weather here in Providence it should smooth out for us right now sit back relax enjoy the flight thanks for watching all right that's my brief run through this checklist right now and get going on this Station is Providence. Shoot. The date is approximately 1-15-24. It is 7-0-7. Okay. Time starter. We get that. We're on the gate. We're doing this. Uh, De-icing with the engines running. No. Hot time is going to be 11 to 18 minutes with type 1. Parking brake is set. If engines are shut down, required APUs on the buses. Safety zone is cleared. Anti-switches is off. Pack switches are off. Starter cutouts are out. Broadband control is off. Doors and entry windows are closed and lights are out. Flaps are not down. We're going to hold that. Stab trim. We're going to go full nose down now. So we're going to take our stab. We're going to turn that stab all the way down to zero. So now they pulled up. They said, yeah, type one is probably the choice. And that's what we're going to do as well. Okay, and I'm going to have to manually do that. And it's going to be a 50% concentration. So timer on, treatment now, 1730 on the clock. So you can see we're going all the way nose down. we got to crank this now manually just to get it through to zero. Now they're working the wings first, so we're going to go ahead and bring this all the way down. Come on, bro. So we, we would do communicating with Iceman, which we just did. We said type 1 fluid. And I'm going to write that down. That's good enough right there. So type 1, we time has started with 1730. That's probably going to be um, a completed thing. Once we're done with that, we'll run through our checklist. And then we'll get going, get a push, and then rock and roll. Let's see what we got. Go ahead. Hello, Captain. How's it going? 
We are ready to go. We'll be securing the passengers once we start to taxi. Okay, no problem. Oh, it's just taking a little bit of a delay here because we're getting de-iced, you can see. And once they call done, then we could uh, get our push going. Lights coming on there. And the icing is completed at 1731. It only takes about a minute to finish this thing up. All right, let's go ahead and get a pushback right now. We're about one minute behind schedule. There we go. Uh, do you want to know? I just did it. What's wrong with you people? All right, once we get pushed back, we're going to run through the rest. Hold over time allowance. I've got that. We reviewed it already. It's between 11 and 18 minutes, and we're on the clock right now. Okay, so we got that. Fluid application type 1. We started the elapsed timer. We've already configured for de-icing. We've communicated position of flaps to take off unless the flaps are left at uh, position 15 due to flap track contamination. While the, tra the flaps are up, we landed with no snow. So that's kind of where we're at with this. Uh, then we're going to push back and do a post-de-icing checklist. Clean aircraft, complete check. So what we're going to do is control column. We're going to move it three times. So we're going to move our control column three times, Okay. And again, our pumps are on, so we're good. We're going to go one, two, one, two, one. One more time. Two. There's three times. Control column was moved back and forth three times. Stamp trim is coming back. Our stamp trim now is going to come out of here. We're going to go 6.1. And that just basically gets all of this de-icing fluid away from this. You don't want it to seep into this, so that's why they do that. If you're wondering what the heck's the point of that, that's why. So I'm going to go 6.2. Six and a quarter. Done. Alright, I'm going to do use autosave push. All right, let's go ahead and pop the brake off. Let's go. We've got uh, those are on. Stand by just a minute. I just want to make sure I've got this correct. There we go. That's on. Fuel pump's coming on. Let's call them up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thanks, pin ahead. All right, folks, here we go. Cabin crew, set doors automatic and cross check. So let's go ahead and fire it up. APU bleed now is good. It's been a minute, so you want to make sure you'd open those bleed valves. We're going to go ahead and start number two, two to ground, coming in. Here we go. Fuel coming up. Doors are closed. We got a light. There's my glasses. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard Coastal Airways. We are now in the process got a good light. of pushback and taxiing to the runway. Oh, pressure's off. Request your attention for Heart an break important safety set. announcement. Your safety is our utmost priority, and Heart we want to ensure that you are familiar with the safety procedures on this aircraft. Please take a moment to locate the nearest emergency exits. Keep in mind that the nearest exit may be behind you. Count the rows to your it's nearest light. exit. This information may be helpful in low visibility situations. In the event of sudden turbulence, keep your seatbelt fastened at all times when seated. 
Whenever the seatbelt sign is illuminated, we're gonna rely on that. Let's go to uh, isolate mentally. It's securely. gonna be very cold in we the flight deck. I'm in the cockpit right now. Whenever you are seated, so we're gonna isolate a loss of cabin and pressure. ventilate. Oxygen masks will drop from the overhead compartments. Hold the mask All right, down fire to number start one. the flow of oxygen and cover your number nose. Number one, coming around. Secure your mask before assisting others. Got a good, Remember, oxygen masks good light on in two. Here we go. Be sure to help children. Start of valves open. Assistance. Left is clear, right is clear, looking for the pin. Landing, life rafts are available for your safety. These life rafts are located in compartments on the ceilings at both the front and rear of the cabin. In the event of an emergency evacuation, there's 25. Water, the Here comes the gas. You in deploying and boarding Fuel these in. life rafts. Life vests are located under your yeah, there's a light. If necessary, put on the there's the pin. You got the pin. Over your head. Okay, have a good trip. We'll give her a good uh salute with the, the life vest as you leave the aircraft taxi light the red tabs or by blowing just let her know that we got it please take a moment to review okay, the oil pressure in the seat pocket in front of you it provides additional information about the safety features of this aircraft as we taxi to the runway we kindly ask that you put all electronic devices in airplane mode larger electronic items such as laptops should be safely secured Thank you for your attention, and we hope you have a pleasant flight with Coastal Airways. Please feel free to ask one of our cabin crew members if you have any questions. Okay, two good lights, system. folks, coming in over top. Let's go ahead. One, two, APU to coming off. You have a smooth and enjoyable journey. APU's off on the back end. Let's go ahead and check this really quick. Two, that's good. That's good. Inverter is good. Pedo heat's coming on. Those two are good. Engine anti-ice, we're going to come on. Valves are open. Valves are now closed. There we go. Bleeds off. Straight across here. Continuous. Continuous. Taxi on. Flaps. Flaps one. Control check. And then we'll run our uh, checklist here. Hi. Sorry, can I call you back? No oh, problem. What's going on here? All right, running the checklist right now. We've done a before start. I did that at the gate here before. Looking good here, folks. All right, generators are on. Probe heat is on. Engine anti is required. We've got that. Flight controls are free. Flaps 1-1 one, one with the green light. Transponders coming on T-A-R-A. -A. All right, folks, let's go. Let's hop to it. We got a recall master doors, but we'll check that. We'll make sure that we're good to go when we get on there. Let's come up. Providence traffic, Riptide 12, taking runway 23, departure north. Here we go. Okay, primary three coming in. Lights coming on. Set there. On wing. Logo lights are on. Cleared on the left. All right. Let's go ahead. Flight attendants have secured the cabin. Okay, two, three on the pavement. Looks like we had a little runway uh, shift or a little weather. All right, we're lined up. And auto throttle is coming on. Toka. All right, we got a little crosswind there we got to deal with. Throttle's up. Cross check. 80 knots. We're going. Okay. There we go. Positive rate. Positive rate of climb. Positive Gear rate. Up. Gear up. Twenty degrees. We're gonna hold that uh, pitch star. All right. You ready? It's gonna make our turn. We're going to go LNAV, select, 
to start pitching down. We're going to go VNAV. We're going to climb. There we go. Start decreasing its uh, pitch angle. There we go. We'll follow the uh, HUD. As we get through flap one maneuvering, we'll go ahead and turn it on. We're going to keep on the climb here. Flaps up. Right there. Level out there. LNAV coming in. There we go. 250 on the climb. We're going to keep pulling that climb up. There we are. I'll hold that right there. Okay, let's gauge, engage Command A. Command A is coming engaged. Autopilot is on. Okay, we're through 5,000. Watching the uh, wings. We're watching the icing, the whole nine yards. Taxi lights coming off, actually. There we go. Gear. Auto brake. And we're actually going to set this to 250 on the mock right now. 18 minutes, we're going to clear the... Uh, we're going to clear this. Click run. All right, you can see that claw, those doors have cleared. Pretty much that's a nuisance. All right, let's clear the uh, N1 limit. So we're going to go down here and delete N1. What that's do is going to set the climb up. You can see we're starting to ice up a little bit. Not too bad. Just watching the wipers here. It's a good indication. Nice breakout. And I'm going to go ahead and adjust my distance. We got Putnam VOR heading through 10,000 with the flight attendants. No, we're going to keep him seated, though. Just because you can see up ahead, it looks pretty darn gnarly. And we're going to keep him seated. We will release the flight attendants uh, when we're through this cloud deck. We would have let them know, too. It's going to be pretty nasty on the climb. Just stay seated. We'll let you know when we clear. Not too shabby, folks. It doesn't look like any icing at all, actually, on those. There's 13,000. we we'll still got the engine anti-ice on, which we'll keep on here until we get, uh, oh, until we get above uh, 15, and then we can turn them, as, even though it's pretty darn smooth. All right, there's 15,000. We're going to go ahead and start our climb now to our, let's shoot all the way up to here at 37,000. Okay, 37,000 engaged. There we go. Got another cloud deck to contend with. We should be clear in the through Putnam 117.4. Putnam. So 117 decimal four. There's Putnam VOR. Now we're through 15,000, so I'm going to unleash it and we'll let it climb up. But I'm only going to go to 280 on the speed, trivial penetration speed. So we just want to make sure that, uh, no. And when we hit these bumps going through this next cloud deck, that we're going to be pretty good. Nice storm here, a snowstorm. <clears throat> Climb check coming up. Pack some leads. Okay, I'm going to lock this. Come up now. Packs and bleeds. We got packs are on auto. Bleeds are on. Pressurization's coming up. You can see. Climb. Camera climbed, and the altitude is Hello, coming up. Hello, Captain. 
I'll call you back. Can I call you back? No problem. APU is off and flaps are up with no lights. This I don't like. There's got to be like a quick thing that through 18,000 standard lights coming off. Bingo, bango. Looks pretty good. We'll still keep those uh, engine anti ice right when we're through this cloud deck where you can uh, call them up and uh, tell them they can start their services. It doesn't, it looks like it, we might get into the bumps around in the 26,000 range, so I might even keep them seated until then. I do expect turbulence here as we climb through the layers. This is kind of what you do with uh, salt, uh, the uh, self-loading cargo is you got to make sure you know, you're, you're taking care of your, your cabin crew and your passengers and the whole nine yards. And, um, you know, through 26,000, we're going to get into the bumps. Uh, it'll clear up at about 30,000. So even 26 is going to be pretty rough. That's what the forecast is. I'm looking at my charts. And uh, we're just going to wait, right? So we're at 22,000 now. Let's see if we are getting rocked up. Not too bad. I'd call this light. And obviously, we would have briefed the flight attendants already about this whole entire thing. We just said, you know what? We're going to keep you seated until we get to the 20s, uh, until we get above the clouds, and then we'll uh, let you up. It's going to be a little bit bumpy. But once we get past that 26,000, then I'll I'll probably turn it on. Because we're in the, really on on my chart, we're in the, on our Navigraph chart I'm looking at, we're in the pretty light to moderate spots right now. And then when we clear out of that, you know what's good. When we get to uh, 26, good stuff. Uh, it's been 38 minutes since we've, well, it's really been, it's about uh, a little bit late just because we had to get out of there uh, running that checklist. All right, there's 25, here comes 26. I'm probably going to let them up right now. It's just going to be pretty much light throughout the whole entire out now. 115.1. I'll give them a call. We'll give them a call right now. They can resume their duties, and then I'll stop the recording. SLCPA. Cabin crew, cabin crew, you're free to move around the cabin. All right, so the cabin crew's released. They're going to do their duties. Ladies and gentlemen, good day. This is your flight attendant speaking from the cabin. We hope you're enjoying your speak, journey so. aboard Coastal Airways. That's pretty funny. As we climb through 10,000 feet, we'd like to inform you about a few important aspects of our flight. Firstly, we'd like to extend a warm welcome to our valued passengers on board. All right, here we go. Engine and is safety off. Safety are top priorities. We encourage you to keep your seatbelts fastened low and tight across your lap whenever you are seated, even if the seatbelt sign is turned off. This is to ensure your safety in the event of any unexpected turbulence. For those of you who wish to use approved electronic devices, you are now free to turn on your laptops, tablets, and smartphones in airplane mode. As we continue our ascent, you will soon be able to enjoy our complimentary in-flight offerings we have prepared for you. Our flight attendants will shortly begin their service, offering a range of beverages and snacks. Please refer to the in-flight menu located in your seat pocket for more details. Before we wrap up, a quick reminder, smoking is strictly prohibited on board Coastal Airways flights, including in the lavatories. We have two lavatories on this aircraft, one located in the front and another in the back for your convenience. Additionally, tampering with, disabling, or destroying any smoke detectors in the lavatories is a violation of aviation regulations. Thank you for choosing Coastal Airways for your travel today. 
We are thrilled to have you on board and hope you have a pleasant and comfortable journey with us. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. All right, folks, just want to let you know how we're doing on the progress of the weather in Detroit right now. The weather in Detroit is really nice. We've got um, winds are pretty much out of 230 at 11 knots. We got 10 miles of visibility, scattered clouds at 3,500, overcast at 10,000. It's really cold. It's minus 14 Celsius, so it's a little chilly out there. 3010 and we're expecting 22 right so let's just go over this planning really quick I'll show you what we've got we're hit the dono and we got uh, Viper Gucci and then over Wolfman 280 we already verified that uh, Mav Top Gun at uh, 28014 you can see that there on our chart we can zoom that in there we got 14 and 11 over at uh, Top Gun then we've got um, Hill Hillwind what is that I don't know what that is between 8 and 10 <laughs> I, I'll get you I don't know Chester's at 7 Ghost at 7 Rider at 7 and then Ghost Rider love it Chester Ghost Rider that's cool and uh, I don't know what that one is Somebody knows what this intersection is. Let me know. Like, how does it deal with Top Gun? I can't remember. Hill, Hillywild? I don't know. Hill, is it Hill? I would. Hollywood. I just got it. Sometimes you got to really like sound these out. Oh, it's Hollywood. Cool. <laughs> it's like the white bone went off my head. Oh, wait a minute. I got it. All right. So we got Hollywood, Chester, Ghost, and Rider. And then from there, we're going to go into the... Um, go ahead and the minimum screen. We're going to go to the approach on 2 2 right, and it's basically just going to be a visual, but we're going to set up the ILS. We're going to do the ILS 2 2 right, and we'll just be a visual approach. We're just going to do the straight ILS here. You can see nothing major, it's just going to be one of those hopefully benign. We're going to go right to Inkser, then Inkser straight down into 2 2 right. Once we land here, Again, weather's fine. This is going to be visual. Once we break out of 3,000, we should be good to go. Uh, we'll, we'll hook that up. And I'll actually pin that in. So we can pin that. And then once uh, we're done there, let's go to the airport. I'll show you what we got. We are going to be going into the north ramp. Here's the airport information. We're going to pin that as well. Uh, when we land, I'll show you. We want to touch down within the first... A thousand feet and that's gonna be or 1500 and I'm just gonna do a quick measurement of my thumbs and zoom way in to get it and it gets about 15 if I can get to 1500 and we're gonna be golden okay there we go squish that back a little bit we want to land between alpha 7 to the beginning of this and alpha six and alpha five so anywhere in this range is going to be golden for us everything is gravy so we want to land between here and here and uh we'll roll out probably exit out on alpha three back taxi all the way down victor we'll go victor probably cross from my two two left and then up to d29 is our gate it's going to be right in there that's the plan anyway any questions we'll be starting our descent in approximately about 121 nautical miles, but I want to let you know what we were doing first. What do we got? And I just kind of like to do the planning, get the planning done early, so you know nobody's surprised on the descent. Uh, landing distance and our data. I'm going to pull that up for you and show you what we've got. Go back here. Sorry. So back here, landing distance, we have the following. I'll pull it up for you. This is what we got on our VTP. It's doing pretty good. We've got, um, what if I can make this full screen for you? Yeah, there we go. We'll just make it a little bit bigger. I wonder if I could do, there we go. Um, you can see what we're looking at right now. We're planning on uh, auto break two. So down here, the auto brake through 6493. No procedure required in terms of brake cooling or anything like that. If I flip my graphic, you can see brake, you know, 
number twos gives us perfect gives us really nice uh, margins here 64 93 how much runway we have to play with is 89 44 when it's all said and done with the approach uh, that takes into consideration you know air distance and stuff like that so even though it says 10,000 we really have 8900 but it still falls in we're at 6400 so plenty of room for the runway that is our performance data and we've uh, are all set it's interesting to see if we look at PMDG if we look at their we get a performance tool and a landing dispatch or excuse me landing and route we can pull it in from Detroit we can throw runway 2 to right let's see what it comes up with I bet you it's a little less aggressive than what we have a little more uh, liberal in their calculations we're a little more conservative runway length that's good it is dry we're gonna go ahead and click import the aircraft details right now 118.7 we'll plan on that flaps 30 packs on anti is off reversers will go full credit and say all operative auto brakes on two none none normal and we have air added vrav 5 we'll click the weather we calculate and see what we get Look, see they're saying? <laughs> Look at that landing distance. 55, 69. So our landing distance is better. And we have a ref of 132. This is 133. So that's it. The ref is okay, but that is not okay. 55, 96 is not accurate. At least we're pulling real world data. So that's what we'll use. You can see we're over Buffalo right now, just kind of cruising through and um, just passing Buffalo. So that's it, folks. We'll go ahead and it's been a smooth ride. I haven't had to turn the seatbelt sign on pretty much yet. So we're just going to take this over for another 102 miles. Let the flight attendants know already that we'll be descending in about 30 minutes or so, uh, prior about 15 minutes ago. So, all right, we'll see you on the descent, about 10,000 feet. All right, folks, welcome aboard. We are starting our descent into the Detroit area. We've actually started about 20 minutes ago. Well, much is about 15 minutes ago. Weather is pretty much the same there in uh, Detroit. It's actually beautiful once we punch through uh, this cloud layer below us. It's pretty darn cold, so we did have to get the uh, engine anti-ice on through these layers. Uh, in terms of bumps, once we got out of the uh, poor uh, Providence area, it pretty much smoothed out for us. Pretty much at all crews didn't have to kick it back on, which was nice. The flight attendants were able to do their services and things like that. Now we're heading into the Detroit, and you can see the kind of overcast, broken clouds as they're expecting a snowstorm here in, in a few hours, actually. So I think we'll uh, beat it. We're expecting two to right, and looks like our flight attendants are securing the cabin. And it looks like they are have the cabin secured. And so that's a good thing. We've got a secured cabin, and we should be actually on time arrival here. So that's good. I, you kind of, with... Uh, self loaded cargo you want to kind of secure the cabin you don't want to start at 10,000 it's too it's not enough time so I usually start pre prepping the cabin there at that tower or at least alerting them about 20,000 and you could see you know we have 12,000 to pick up so um, now we got an intercom call standby hello hi captain the cabin is secured for landing You can take your seats now. We're almost ready. No problem. All stations, landing position, please. All right. So we've got. Uh, I have the flight attendant sit down right now. We'll come off on the speed. Slow us down a little bit more here. We're just coming over the uh, this lake area. I don't know what this is. Let's see what kind of lake this is. This is kind of. See if we can get a name on this thing. I don't know. Kind of getting out of Toronto. And um, 
It's kind of in Toronto's airspace, actually. We're just punching through. Pretty, pretty high up. <laughs> You know, now I'm wondering, where was that? Well, where is that? That's not, you see, it's not Yuri or anything like that. It's. Lake. St. Clair. Oh, yeah, that's where that is. This is uh, Lake St. Clair. There's 10,000 folks. We'll hit the attendant notification. Okay, I don't want to go too low. I know we got to get it to about 240 or 210 when we get down to um, we get down to Ghost. We need to be about 210 knots. So I'm just gonna hold the speed right now. Let the airplane hunt for the uh, the speed. Not bad. Negative eight. It is cold here, in Detroit, folks. My goodness gracious, it's cold. Okay, VMC primary. You can see we already have it set uh, one 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 decimal nine or five. That's going to be the ILS approach. I'll show you that right there. See right there, we got one one nine one 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 decimal nine five. And I've already confirmed it. One 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 decimal nine five. Alright, we're coming down to seven thousand feet. We're gonna probably have to descend. Yep, we'll keep it at seven thousand feet. We'll start slowing the aircraft down as we cross Chester. Landing lights coming on. Completely missed those. Yeah, look at those clouds. It goes 210 knots. Or I'm flap up maneuvering speed, so we'll go ahead and do that right now. There we go. Getting ready for a downwind, essentially, is what we're doing. Look at this cloud bank. Like I said, we've got a 3,000 deck right here. And once we're past that 3,000 deck, we should be on sailing from there. The flight attendants already sat them down. We already sat the flight attendants down already. So get any, any bumps or anything like that, they'll be fine. As long as they're not standing up and walking around through this crap, they should be good to go. I do expect turbulence in here. That's for sure. And we're getting um, the overcast. Let me call them up. Detroit traffic, Riptide 12 on the Top Gun arrival at Ghost. 7,210 expecting uh, 2 2 right. We do have ground online, so that'll be fun. Once we hit Rider, we're going to go ahead and straight direct to uh, this Inkster. And I will start configuring for landing from there. Inkster looks like we need to be at 4,000 maybe. So we'll start our descent to 4,000 feet here. Inkstress is about 5,200. And at Fudgy, I'll do a hard altitude of 4,000 feet here. So I don't know if you can see what I'm about to do. I'll just drop that 4,000 marker in there. It's not an above, it's a hard. There's the bumps.
Okay, return to base. Here we go. Now I'm not going to throw any flap just in yet. We're waiting on that. And by the way, folks, this um, video. Oh, come on. I hate when it does that. I really do. We have scenery in Detroit. This is the Indy Bills Detroit that we're seeing. So you'll be able to see that. And then another thing is that uh, this video will actually round out and complete this uh, Miami trip that we have, which will be fun. So we'll be able to complete this video uh, with actually this video completes the trip on this playlist. So if you want to see how this route goes, we have uh, starting out Miami. We go from Miami to Norfolk, Virginia. Then we go from Norfolk to Providence, which we flew earlier. Then we go from Providence to Detroit. Detroit back to Providence. And then we are done with day one in Providence. We actually go back to Providence from here and we overnight in Providence. I already done my descent checklist, just in case you're wondering. So that's all I'm done. Looking good. I'm going to set the HUD down just for the heck of it. Give us some uh, visual cues. It's in the VMC. Obviously, we're in IMC right now, but that's, that's quite all right. Like I said, it's a 3,000-foot uh, ceiling, so I'm going to send down a 642 feet. So let's go down to DH. You can see. Bring it all the way down to 200, actually. 842. All right, there's four thousand hard. A 42 set and I'm going to go ahead and click approach roll it in here here we go keep the flaps in we don't need to do anything and then zip this down to zero now missed approach would be up to 4,000 in right turn call them up Toy traffic, Riptide 12 on final runway 2 to your right, uh, Detroit, approximately 20 out. We got a visual on the runway, pretty much done through that cloud deck now. One thirty two on the reference, by the way. You can see we don't even have the flaps out yet. We don't need it just right now. Oh, what the heck is that? Is that a big tower right there or something? I think it is. It's crazy. About sixteen miles away it says. I haven't identified it already. Yeah. Once we hit that 15 nautical mile ring, pretty much don't really need to do anything. We'll drop flat five. We'll start slowing down to 190. We'll go 190 or 180 to the five mile marker. And then we'll go from there. Got a nice little crosswind here coming. 15 knots. I'm going to try to record this landing using Sky Dolly. Okay, there's our 15 nautical mile ring. We have have passed it. Yeah, I'm recording. All right, here we go. Flaps one. Flaps five. I'm sorry. 
I want to slow down to uh, 180. We'll, we'll keep 180 till 5 nautical miles and we'll start slowing down. We're just going to keep the engine anti-ice on, even though we're pretty much below the deck. I will turn it off here just as we start descending a little bit more. There we go. Go take a peek outside. Deck flaps are already set to five. Might be fun. It's a little gusty. It's going to give us a little bit of a fun run. It looks like. Got the wrong way in sight. Okay, I'm actually going to turn off the engine anti ice now. Gives a little more power, plus we're under the deck, so there's no big deal if we have to go mist or something like that. That's when we'll turn it back on. But right now, we're good. Okay, I'm going to change this up to uh, 4,000. We have intercepted. Is that... Keep it at zero. That's kind of why we do it. It's just a pain in the neck when we have to uh, go around or something like that. All right. Now there's the hookup. Stand by. Ready. Here we go. Drop the gear. Flap 15. Go ahead and slow it down. One thirty-two. And my lights are on. Taxi's coming on as well. Let's go. Looking at getting off on uh, Alpha 3. Alright, it's pretty much approach speed. We'll drop it to 30 here in just a minute. Okay, there's 5 miles. Here comes 30. 132. That's perfect right there. Nice crosswind of 16 knots, folks. All right, let's go. Landing checklist before landing. Speed brake is arm. Green light. Landing gear down three green and the flaps 30 30 green. Landing checklist is complete. I'm going to take the aircraft over right now. Maybe. I've got the thrust levers. I see the glide slope. I'm going to correct. Glide slope. Correcting. Glide slope. Correcting. There we go. We're just going to use a little bit of thrust to get back on that path. I got a visual of the runway. That's what we'll do right there. Good speed. We'll keep about 50, 55% of N1. That should do the trick. Maybe we might even go a little faster than that. That's 11 knots. Alright, so what I'm doing is just placing this, the uh, HUD bug right on there, the like guidance cue, just right on the runway. Yeah, we've got about nine knots now, where we're seeing a nice, I'll increase the speed, 
help us out with that round out pitch. There we go. Might get a glide slip alert, but we got a visual all the way in. All right, here we go. 50. 30. Right there, start rounding it out. 10. That was a hard one. All right, let's go. That was a little tough. It was a hard landing. Two in reverse. Speed brakes. It was about 300 feet a minute. It just crushed that thing. <laughs> Dropped the piano on that one. All right, brakes. I got the airplane. Welcome to Detroit, folks. Going to taxi down, get off on Alpha 3, which is right here. I oh, picked up a little ice. See that? On the way through those clouds. Oh, look at the windshield wiper, you can see. Well, we're here. It doesn't matter. Good to go. Okay, speed brakes. It's called ground. We kindly ask that you remain seated with your seatbelts securely fastened until the aircraft comes to a complete stop and the captain turns off the seatbelt sign. We advise you to exercise caution while opening the overhead compartments, as items may have shifted during the flight. Before leaving the aircraft, please take a moment to check your seat area and the overhead compartments for any personal items you may have brought on board. If you notice any belongings that do not belong to you, please bring them to the attention of one of our flight attendants. For those passengers with connecting flights, please consult the display screen. Have an order free to approach our ground staff. Detroit ground uh, Riptide 12 on uh, Alpha 3. Airways offers a range of ground services to assist you further, including baggage handling and wheelchair services. Please remain seated if you require any assistance. Our dedicated ground staff will be readily available to assist you with ASMR patient. Once again, we would like to thank you. Detroit ground Riptide 12. How do you read? That works. Or have any questions, feel free to approach any of our flight attendants. Thank you for flying with Coastal Airways. We hope you had a pleasant experience, and we wish you a wonderful stay at your destination or a safe onward journey. All right. Have a He's not answering, so we're not going to sit here. I got to get going back to the gate here. It was more like a crash. Welcome to Detroit. All right, so we're going to taxi down to Alpha here. Still do my cleanup. Shut those off. We'll shut the auto throttle off. Flaps are up. Anti ice is off. It's cold. Very cold out. So we're going to taxi down Alpha. We'll go Alpha to Victor, and then straight up. We'll turn the APU on as we get closer, and we'll turn on our uh, landing lights here. Uh, up, we're going to have to cross a runway or two before we get to the gate. Bit of a long taxi as we go up to uh, Delta 29, I believe. Wing lights are coming off. Straight away like this, we can bring it up to 30. And uh, folks, I'll keep this on the entire taxi so you can see the scenery it's really nice this is a well done scenery over there in Detroit got some anti-ice going on spraying the aircraft down 
Okay, we're approaching Victor. I gotta slow the aircraft down a little bit. We gotta get it below about cornering, about 15 knots or below. Turn these two lights on now as we're going to get get going. Tap the brakes here. It's a pretty much pretty severe turn. Almost like Detroit traffic, Riptide 12 would be crossing uh, runway 22 left. Detroit. Okay, we're going to cross 22 left onto Victor here. Let's see, we got Victor Zulu. Where do we want to go? We want to go Victor. So we're going to go ahead and cross Victor across this runway here, two to left, and then we'll get on Victor. Then we'll go from Victor to Yankee. And let's start our APU. Here comes the crossing. Take a peek. Looks good down that runway. You check down this runway. Looks good there. I think I know what's going on with my stupid... There we go. Alright, we've got Victor crossing Victor. Lights are coming off. We're done with that. Really? Turned you off. Alright, let's go ahead and fire up the APU. APU come to start. We're going Delta 29 now. I'm going to go ahead and shut off the other engine. We want the Delta gates. We're going to go Delta 29 er Right there. No. Come on, GSX. You're taking forever. There we go. We had enough cooldown time on both engines, so we're going to go ahead and shut down number two. We'll roll number one. FPU's on alive. Kick that on the bus. Kick both of them on the bus. We'll clear that. This is a big airport, Detroit. Very big airport. Of course, our terminal is way up in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Doesn't help. Terminal way I. Huh. All right, here we go.
Now there's another airplane that's approaching in from uh, Indy, and that's coming up very quick. And we'll actually meet each other. If you can believe that, we'll meet each other um, within minutes. So, um, I think that aircraft comes in very shortly because local time here. Hang on. Concentrate on parking. Taxi lights coming off. All right, I got you. 29 right there. It's going to want me to slow down, I guarantee it. Brake set. Engine off. Seatbelts. We'll go ahead and run. Let's go ahead and call for a. Let's get the gate in there and then um, we'll go ahead over here. We're going to click setup. Oh, sorry. Menu, we're going to go actions, ground services, set those chocks. Let's go ahead and request a ground power unit, and we're going to request the air conditioning cart. And also, we're going to go over here, and we'll get GSX to deplane us. Request a deboarding. So the gate's coming on the aircraft, and then we'll do our checks. Uh, I'll shut that that light off as we spool down the engines. Okay, engines are spooling down. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the light off. And we'll tell them. All right, let me call the flight attendants. Go ahead. Cabin crew, the aircraft is secure. Please open the doors when you're ready and clear to begin deplaning. Roger. Okay, Captain. Ground power is filled. Stand by. We we'll start getting you offloaded in a couple of minutes. Hi. Are you there? No. Sorry, my mind's gone blank. I'll call you back. No problem. Hang on just a minute. Let me answer that. SLCPA system. Camera crew, the aircraft is secure. Please open the doors when ready. You're cleared to begin deboarding. As you can see right there, we're deboarding. Let's go ahead and uh Flight attendants, prepare for arrival, disarm and cross check doors. Stand by for all call. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now arrived at our destination, and the cabin crew has opened the doors. As the captain has turned off the seatbelt sign, personal belongings, including items from the seat pockets and the overhead compartments. We would like to take this opportunity to thank you for choosing Coastal Airways for your journey today. Your presence on our flight is valued, and we hope you had a comfortable and enjoyable experience. Whether this is your final destination or you are connecting to another flight, we wish you a safe and pleasant onward journey. Thank you for your attention, and once again, thank you for flying with Coastal Airways. All right, folks. Oh, let's see how we did. All right, we got a B flight grade, delayed departure. Yeah, I know that. The landing was pretty tough. It's about 303. That's good. Max pitch up was 22.9. That's not annoying. Come 
gosh. I don't want to hear that crap. Deboarding complete. What is like two seconds? That is funny. Okay, we're exiting that. All right, uh, that's what we got. We did all right. What do we got? We got nailed here. Pitch up angle of 22 degrees, so we got to be careful of that. Everything else was okay except for this intercom descent in X minutes. I did that. Make sure you commute a time frame. I did that. I did that way ahead. What is this? How did the descent accurate descent notification? <laughs> Oh, that's ridiculous. 39 outs the 39 minutes of outside. You're oh please. That was close. Okay. Whatever, dude. Okay, that's done. Okay, what I'm gonna do. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. And we're done, folks. We're here, and seatbelt signs just coming through. This is looking good. Ground power's on. That's off that. And we've got the outside air going. Our lights are all set. Doors are open. And one thing I need to do is just turn this off. Right there. Back to primary mode. And guess what? We are headed over to... You guessed it. We're heading over to... Um, Providence, Rhode Island. Again. That is it. I'm going to go ahead and save the panel state the way it is. And hopefully, folks, that you enjoyed this trip. Uh, we have now finished the playlist it is complete with our trips at coastal at least with this trip it's a two-day little two-day out and back down to uh jamaica so watch those videos remember if you're new to the channel do me a favor hopefully you uh, learned something hit the subscribe button that's really helpful and we'll see you on a stream here shortly until next time keep the blue side up and the brown side down we'll see you folks